Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Noelle. I make new videos every single week on home decor, DIY home decor, and making your home look high-end on a budget. So if you like that kind of video, definitely hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to be getting into some DIY home decor. So I showed you guys a couple pieces in my last thrift haul video that I'm going to be doing a thrift flip on today. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first piece we're going to be redoing is this set of baskets. So I found this at the thrift store for $10 for the set, so I thought that that was really good um, because I never find like a set of baskets like this. So I'm not going to be using the lids, but we are going to be transforming this set of baskets into a really cool pendant light, like a three-tiered pendant light. Um, so I've been seeing these around lately they're just really popular so I thought that I would try and do my own spin on it and thought that it would look really cute in my boys player makeover that I'm doing soon so we're going to go ahead and get started on making this okay so the first thing we're going to be doing is cutting a hole in the top of this basket for our pendant light light bulb thing to go through so I just picked this up from Ikea and it was like eight bucks, but I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon um, as well. So they're definitely easy to pick up, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole in the top of the basket just large enough for this part to fit through. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trace around here um, how big this needs to go so that I don't cut it too big. And I'm going to use this utility knife just to try and get it going. I ended up going in with these wire cutters and it cut the basket a lot better. Awesome. Perfect fit. Okay, so now that we've got this part done, we are going to go ahead and take our other two baskets. And so that the light from the top will be able to shine through, I'm just gonna cut out the bottom of these baskets. So I'm probably gonna end up using these wire cutters to do that because those end up cutting the basket a lot more easily than the utility knife. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now that I've got these two cut out and I've got a splintery mess over here, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching these to one another. So I'm gonna start with the smaller two first and I'm just gonna be taking some wire, maybe, oh, it's right here. I'm gonna be taking some wire, this is just, um, 26 gauge so it's not super thin but I mean it's not super thick but I don't want it to be very noticeable so it's not a very heavy basket so I don't think that we're going to need a very large gauge so I'm just going in with this this is what I had on hand and we're just going to be attaching it to one of the baskets and then connecting it so I'm just going to cut a small piece here I'm just going to take about 5 inches of wire and slip it through the rim of the smallest basket and make sure to twist it around itself tightly so that it holds. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the rim. Then I'm going to take the wire and slip it through the rim of the medium size basket from the inside. And then twist it tight to secure the small basket in the center. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess wire. After that, I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the rim, making sure that I pull the wire tight so the basket doesn't hang too low and remain centered. Next, I'm gonna use the same technique to attach the largest basket to the medium sized basket, making sure to keep the basket centered and twisting the wire tight so that it's secure and cutting off any excess wire. Okay guys, so this is looking so good. I am very happy with this. So now we're just going to put this guy back in and hot glue it down so that it doesn't come out and put in a light bulb and it's gonna be good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some hot glue around the edges here. a little bit around the top of this as well. Just a little bit. It's already a pretty tight fit, so this is just, just because I have two little boys. <laughs> so this will make sure they don't mess it up. And there we have it. We've got our pendant light. Okay, so for our next thrift flip project, we are going to be transforming this clock. So, I saw this and I immediately thought of the, what are they called? Frame textile pieces, like frame textile art. So, I thought that this would be such a cool piece to turn into that since it's got the deep it can almost be like a shadow box kind of thing so I'm gonna be disassembling this and putting in a super cool piece of fabric so we're gonna go ahead and start disassembling the back of the clock and getting the clock piece out of the frame This does not want to come off <laughs> with that. So they've got staples in the back here holding this back frame on or the back the backing on. So I want to be able to reuse it. So I'm gonna try to not rip it and just get these staples out. I'm just going to use this utility knife and cut around the the staples so that I can still use the backing because this is not, these staples are not coming out so I'm just going to cut around them. Worked. Okay, got the backing off. Now let's see what's going on in here. There's more staples in here. What? I really thought that this was just gonna like come out. What's up with all these staples? I don't have tools for this. This may not be as simple as I thought it was gonna be. 
Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna cut this whole piece out. We did it. So now we're just left with this awesome frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this frame up. It's got, it's kind of sticky. So I'm just going to take some degreaser and or it's like a liquid sandpaper and just rub over it to get the grease. Okay, I'm also going to try to take these brass plates off. Okay, nice. Came out super clean. That's good. Okay, so now that we've got it all cleaned off, I'm going to give it almost like a whitewash look to make the wood look a little bit lighter. And I'm just using this Valspar Lime Wash Glaze. So I'm just gonna apply it with a shop rag and rub it in and make it look just like a lighter piece of wood. Okay, so this is making no difference at all. So I'm going to mix up some white paint with some water to make a whitewash for the wood to make it have that lighter wood effect. So I'm gonna go mix that up. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix up this paint sample that I have from when we repainted our house. It's just the Sherwin-Williams Alabaster White. And I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of water with it to get a nice whitewash. So brushing it on with this foam brush and then wiping it off a little bit with paper towel is giving it a really awesome look so that you can still see a good bit of the wood grain coming through. So it doesn't look just like a white box. You can still see the wood coming through. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. Just gonna prop it here so we can get the rest of the sides. Okay, so while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and make the inside part. So I'm gonna just use what I cut out as a template for the new backing. So I'm just going to use this. It's literally just the right size. I thought it was close, but it's like the same. So I'm just gonna cut out front piece because we're going to cover this up so I'm just going to cut out the front piece of this and it's going to fit like perfect so that's really awesome okay nice so now we've got our backing piece and this is going to be what we're going to put the um this is gonna be what we're gonna put the textile fabric on. So I'm actually gonna be covering this so that you don't see it. And it just gives it a prettier backing to the textile. So I've got this piece of fabric that I thought would really make the textile pop because it's a nice dark color. So I'm just going to it's a little bit sheer, so I'm gonna double layer it. And then just glue it onto this piece of cardboard. So I'm just gonna lay it on top like this and hot glue it onto the back so then 
this will be a nice backing for the textile wherever I put that. Okay, so now that we've got this all hot glued on, I can go ahead and clean up my textile and apply it. I actually just had this piece left over from a past project and I love this fabric so much. So I think it'll be really cool to be able to frame it up like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges and then apply it to the other piece of fabric using some Mod Podge so that we don't have the bumps that hot glue would leave if we would apply it with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so here is the textile attached to that. So now all we're gonna do is pop it back in the frame and then put the backing back on the frame and we're gonna be good to go. I'm just going to use a finishing nail to hammer in the backing. Okay, just kidding, I'm not gonna use that hammer and nails because I think the nail's gonna be too long, so I'm just gonna use this staple gun that we've got. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up the front of this with some Windex and we are gonna be ready to style this guy. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these thrift flips. I am so happy with how these turned out and cannot wait to style them in my home. If you guys like these kinds of videos, then give this video a thumbs up so that I know to keep making these thrift flip videos for you guys. And if you want to see more thrift hauls, then definitely let me know in the comments below as well. So that's all I've got and I'll see you guys in the next one.